Mustafa Kemal Ataturk and the Turkish nationalist movement he led continued many of the oppressive race-based policies against minorities that were practiced by the Ottoman government, particularly targeting Christian populations like Greeks and Armenians. After World War I and the fall of the Ottoman Empire, Ataturk's nationalist forces continued the systematic persecution and expulsion of Christian minorities from Anatolia. This included massacres and forced deportations of Greeks, which were part of the broader Greek genocide that began in 1914 and continued into the early 1920s under Ataturk's leadership. The burning of Smyrna, modern-day Izmir, in 1922, which resulted in the expulsion of the remaining Greek population from the city. Continuation of deportation policies targeting Kurds, with laws passed in the mid-1920s allowing for the forced relocation of Kurdish populations to western Turkey. Implementation of assimilationist policies aimed at Turkifying minority populations, including Kurds and other non-Turkish ethnic groups. Destruction of Christian Orthodox cultural, historical, and religious monuments. Forced conversions to Islam, arbitrary executions, and other forms of persecution against Christian minorities. These actions were part of a broader nationalist agenda to create a more ethnically and religiously homogeneous Turkish state. The policies implemented by Ataturk's government built upon and extended the practices of ethnic cleansing and forced assimilation that had been initiated by the Committee of Union and Progress during the final years of the Ottoman Empire. These actions resulted in the deaths, displacement, and suffering of hundreds of thousands of people belonging to minority groups, fundamentally altering the demographic composition of modern Turkey. These were actions admired and emulated by the Nazi regime in their open admiration of Ataturk.